we have one more I think that I want to go through with you today this one's a little different um, so this one I I don't want to put it in a model yet but I want you to be aware that it's there and I want to talk through with you the different components so that if you choose to explore it on your own you may and you can actually navigate it I will do some more exploration myself before I have you do it in class okay but it's a really really fascinating one I think you need to be aware of uh, let's go back to Hydra and I'm gonna just download a fresh one uh, I, I already have one but uh, I'll open a fresh one it is somewhere ray tracing ray tracing ray tracing there it is ray tracing so ray tracing this is kind of a chunk that you're gonna need to understand um, and you've got a couple of new ones over here too but ray tracing uses the same component here right it's the uh, what was that called I forget what that was called the Sun the Sun di Sun path diagram um, but this one um, is actually going to process using vectors like you have to extract the vectors tell them where to bounce and it will project them into uh, different parts of your model right so this right here is the rays component there uh, that one you can pretty much bake out an analysis of your entire model and watch the sunlight bouncing through it. Have you ever seen, um, have you ever seen like a game of pool where, uh, uh, like in, in, you can kind of measure it here and you're kind of seeing like if you hit it against the wall, what angle it's going to make and where it's going to go, right? So if you're, if you're playing billiards, that's like incredibly important. So this diagram is going to do that for us with sunlight. So you could, you could use that for in the winter to see how the sunlight bounces off uh, the room and heats it up? Yep. Ooh. So uh, for those of you who are downloading it, go ahead and download it. Uh, I have it here, and uh, I'm just going to pull a fresh one in so that I don't show you my uh, mess-ups. All right, so the fresh one is in. <clears throat> okay, so uh, allow me to, I'm going to put something here that I can zoom on. This is just going to allow me to use zoom select so that I can get my camera in a good place. So here's what's happening. Uh, let's talk through the definition and then let's look at what it is. So we're using the sun path diagram which uh, analyzes the vectors and the sun position, obviously. Um, this is really just showing you, it's uh, processing all the vectors, right? So distance, vector, they get multiplied, um, and then it moves datum points along that vector, which is very important, right? So uh, when, it's, when this says generate test points, what it's doing right now, this says glaze surface, right? So the glaze surface is being evaluated, and on it, it's being uh, produced a series of points. Okay, and that's what you're seeing right here. So um, from the top view, you can see from the sun, like I mentioned before, sunlight's uh, rays are assumed to be parallel and as you uh, progress through this projection part of it gets hit by the context building part of it gets hit by the building itself and part of it passes through the window um, to get into the space and now if you look at it from the side view uh, there's too much extra geometry there but right here, what's happening is the sunlight that actually hits the building is bouncing back. The sunlight that passes through and hits the outside of our building also bounces back in all these locations. And in this case, the sunlight beam that hits the light shelf bounces upwards. 
and then all the sunlight that passes directly through and hits the floor bounces upwards. So notice how, I wonder if we just, oh, you won't be able to see it, hold on. Yeah, you can. Um, oh, also, oh no, this one doesn't have it. Never mind. Um, I think I just have to turn it on. So what I wanted you to see here is that you can analyze the uh, impact in the space. You can kind of trace where it will project into the room. Um, but also, one of the things that you can measure is um, this right here, right? So the reflectance off of certain buildings. Uh, components and let me turn on some of the other context stuff down here you can uh, take your context building and plug in the surface itself and so now you get a chance to see uh, bounce from surface it'll actually instead of instead of all of these analysis points let me clarify what's happening here Instead of all of these analysis points, right, these orange ones that just hit its first surface, bounce for like two feet, and then stop. What's happening with this component, bounce from surface, it's going to give it one full bounce. So here it's going to uh, bounce off of the building and then project back down to here. And it'll do that wherever the projection will fit onto your base surface. Okay, so the base surface was somewhere. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is, ground. Preview. Okay, so the reason that um, these top ones aren't bouncing down is because they don't have anywhere to bounce to because the surface isn't big enough. Make sense? Yeah. Um. Yes, there is. Um, so that's part of some of these other components, which I haven't gotten into yet. But we're going to do some of it. That's coming up in the next two weeks. Uh, radiation analysis, real-time radiation, um, accounting for solar radiation comfort. I'm not so sure about that one. But if you take a look at this here, oh, they don't have the screenshots, do they? Well, you can kind of float through here. What's happening is uh, you're creating the environmental conditions. You're um, pulling out radiation information. So I don't know that that's accurate. We'll see. Um, yeah, here we go. So this is where it's actually going to take uh, the analysis period, run uh, radiation information, and then project it onto onto the space. So let's see if I can pull up radiation analysis. This is what you're looking for. Wow. Yep. That's a terrible photo, but we're gonna we're gonna play around with this in the next couple of weeks. Yeah, what you'll see is, um, yeah. well, can't get into it. But what you see here is that obviously the sun on this analysis is coming from the, if we assume, well, based on the orientation, right, the sun is coming in from the bottom left corner of the image. So all of those areas are getting full, full on radiation from the sun. Uh, the cool side is the back side. So not only is the back side of the building blue, but the ground behind it right here. This ground, the back side of the buildings are blue, and the ground behind it is blue. So it's doing the same thing. It's converting the surface of the ground and the surfaces of the building to meshes, and it's calculating how many of those bounces it gets and what the intensity of the sunlight is at that time. So I'm actually worried about how our computer is going to compute these. <laughs>
Our systems are terrible. Get an upgrade mid-semester. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, any other questions? <laughs>